Hello and welcome to another video with me, Mioni. This time I wanted to look at how to install Reshade. Reshade is a series of plugins that inject graphical changes into various games that are supported. Specifically, this video is looking at how to set it up for Final Fantasy XIV, obviously. It's actually fairly simple, but I want to be clear in as few steps as possible to make it simple for you to follow. For reference, this is technically a grey area for the terms of service, so discretion is advised, much like the use of parsers and in-game parsing in general. However, there is this little quote we can use which states, Utilising such a tool would not violate any agreements customers have with Square Enix, and we don't plan on doing anything to restrict users from using it. This was a community team member's response on the official Reddit, but obviously use this at your own caution, as obviously none of this is regulated by Square Enix and it's all third party. So anyway, on to the guide. The first step is to go to, on your web browser, reshade.me in your browser. That's reshade.me. This page will have a download link that's very visible to Reshade and will always give you the latest version, so you don't have to worry about that. Once this file's downloaded, run the executable file and you will get a pop-up that says Welcome and asks you to select a game. This wants you to direct the software to your game executable file, so either the DirectX 9 or 11 version of the game in the game location. For Steam users, this might be in Steam Apps Common and in Final Fantasy XIV in the Game section, not the Boot menu. And for normal PC installs, this will be in Program Files 86, Square Enix, and Game specifically. It's important that you choose the Game folder and not the Boot folder. Open that up and select the version of a game you play, i.e. the .exe file for either DirectX 11 or DirectX 9. Next, it will ask you to select the Rendering API. Choose Direct3D9, it should already be picked for you anyway, but just in case it's not, it's the one on the left there. It will then ask you if you want to download a selection of basic effects. So obviously say yes and let it download. Once done, it will ask you to choose which files you want to install. Leave everything all ticked and press OK. If done successfully, it should say succeeded at the top and done in the actual box. Close this and boot up the game. The game may load a little slower due to loading all of the effects, but it will get there eventually. Once loaded up, there will be the first time pop-up at the top of the screen here, on top of the launcher, which uh, you might not have seen before. This gives you a basic tutorial that you can click through, or you can just basically come back to that later. Or you can access the actual reshade menu at any time by pressing Shift F2 on your keyboard. Once in the game, press Shift F2 to look at the menu and look around. The bit at the top is a list of all the installed effects. There is a tick box next to each effect. Ticking one will toggle the effect listed on and off and is even a keybind setting at the right side here. Below this, you can find a window below in the effect settings. Each effect is listed like above, but only this time it has a series of effects that you can click a drop down menu and change percentages and all sorts of bits and bobs. So you can tweak each one to an incredible depth. You can, for example, even use the fog setting to create a keyable green screen if you wanted to, if you were doing sort of videos like that, or you wanted to actually chroma key you sort of your character off of the game and onto like a gift card, for example, which is pretty cool. But let's talk presets for now. Presets are settings tweaked by others and are saved into text files and shared across the internet. A link to all of the things featured will be in the description, obviously, including to this site, which has a range of reshade presets for a lot of games, including Final Fantasy XIV. Simply click on a preset. Some of them have preview images on their actual preset page to check out before you download them. Download the file, which should normally be a text file. Drag that into the actual game directory folder, so Square Enix Final Fantasy XIV game, basically where the same executable is to run the game that you did before, so the same folder. If you did this, simply restart your game. You, you cannot load presets that you've just dragged in there. You have to restart the game to load those. So restart your game and use Shift F2 again to open up the menu 
and at the top you'll see a drop down. If you click the drop down, you'll be able to choose from the installed presets of your choice. You can of course install multiple presets and freely switch between them. If you go into the settings tab at the top, we can even assign a key to toggle reshade completely on and off. This way we can toggle the preset we have on whenever we like. So if we're in dungeons, we don't have to look at horrible looking buttons if we have a UI turned on because this will affect the entire screen and not just the character itself and the world but also the buttons and everything as well so this is this makes it easier to toggle things on and off really you want to be using this for creative purposes and probably rp or pictures or videos but not necessarily for dungeon runs so let's show you a couple of the presets from the website i showed you earlier Quite a lot of the presets affect the game in vibrance and bloom effects, people like that. Some sharpen the screen completely and some for either aim for super realism or a more unrealistic cartoony look. There's a ton of variety and there's nothing stopping you from making your own and sharing them online. Simply typing Final Fantasy XIV reshade presets into Google gives an absolute ton of results, so you can't really go wrong. It's a nice little tool, it's easy to install as I've shown you, and can make the game much easier to get great screenshots with or without GPOs on. If this was remotely helpful to you, leave me a like below. Thank you kindly for watching this, and I'll see you all next time.